Kevin Whalen recalls the moment he learned his oldest brother Kyle collapsed and died. He was only 26. It was devastating. Kyle had hypertrophic cardiomyopathy, or HCM, a genetic disease of the heart and the most common cause of sudden death in otherwise healthy young people. But Kyle wasn't the only one in the family with it. His father and all three boys had HCM, including Kevin. After Kyle died, I was wondering, you know, when's my event? Searching for answers, the Whalen family found doctors Barry and Martin Marin, a father-son team of cardiologists at Tufts Medical Center in Boston, who had developed the sudden cardiac death prevention strategy. To pick out the patients that are most likely to have sudden death and use the defibrillator selectively in those patients. Using a patient's history, physical exam, and special imaging, they can now determine with near certainty who needs an implanted defibrillator and who does not. We really have been able to reduce sudden death uh, in this disease uh, to almost zero. In a new study in JAMA Cardiology, over a 17-year period, 82 patients with HCM who received defibrillators based on the strategy experienced a lethal heart rhythm and were shocked back to life. Based on the doctor's recommendation, Kevin received a defibrillator. Then several years ago, at the age of 24, while jogging on Cape Cod, Kevin started to feel lightheaded and he collapsed. Within 40 seconds of being passed out, it delivered therapy and saved my life. Kevin, his surviving brother, and his father all have defibrillators now, but Kevin often thinks that his brother Kyle could have been saved had he gotten the same advice. Doctors say this strategy can also be applied to children and teens with HCM, and they hope it'll be adopted by other medical centers. Dr. Max Gomez, CBS 2 News.